Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and welcome back to a, another episode of Best to Worst, the series where originally it's usually after I get diamond cam on a weapon class and had a lot of experience with the weapons, we'd go in and kind of rank all the weapons from best to worst in hopes that, you know, if you haven't used the weapons, you'll know what's good and you'll destroy people right off the bat and kind of summarize everything in the game. You know, people like to put their input in. It's a pretty fun series to do. I think we ended with the secondaries last time. I thought, let's go ahead and continue and do the specialist which i've been meaning to do for a while one of these specialist kind of perks uh maps maybe so if you guys have something you'd like to see me cover on best Wars, leave a comment down below let me know yeah, i found it harder when i sat down to rank these specialists in black ops 4 rather than when i did it in black ops 3 and other games because in Black Ops 3, at least, it was either you rank the specialist weapons or the specialist abilities, not both at the same time because they were separated in that game. In Black Ops 4, having both of those available at any time for specialists kind of evens the playing field out for many. But then I thought, wait a minute, I can rank the specialist weapons and the specialist equipment separately because you'll always have access to the specialist weapons in the default modes, but not the specialist equipment because you can opt out for standard equipment rather than the specialist equipment meaning some people may rank the specialist by their weapons only so we're going to be doing just that for this episode we're going to be ranking the specialists by their specialist weapons and then in probably the next episode we'll be ranking them by their specialist equipment also one more thing before we get into this is going to be second best to worst with best at the end that's the way i'm going to be kind of going over it. i want to change things up just a little bit and kind of see how it goes uh moving forward so with that said again leave your own best to worst list down below in the comments if you disagree with mine agree with mine whatever but the second best specialist again we're ranking by specialist weapons is going to be outrider in my humble opinion now outrider became one of my favorite specialists in this game she has the i don't know exactly what it's called but it's the bow and arrow with the explosive tips and it's very very good in black ops 4 compared to black ops 3 if you're in close quarters you don't need to charge it back that much to hit people it seems like it has strong aim assist and easy hit detection it's easy to hit people with it and it's good at all range you can take people out with it take score streaks out take other specialist equipment or weapons out whatever it needs to be it's just very very good and i am very very fond of it third best is going to go to nomad now nomad has his little buddy his little attack dog it's very good at tracking people down it's kind of hard to kill and most of the time you're going to be getting squeezing a kill or two out of it and you don't have to even do anything it's just ai and it runs around and gets free kills for you so I mean, how much better can you get than that? Uh, number four, fourth best on this list will be going to Battery. Now, I kind of thought this through a little bit. I was comparing it to other specialist weapons. Battery has her war machine, which is like a grenade launcher. It counters a lot of the different specialist weapons in this game, which is why I'm ranking it really highly. It's not only super lethal, but it's a good counter for a lot of things. And you can clear out hard points with this or any objectives, take score streaks out on the ground easily, take out, you know, safeguard, robot, other objectives, works barricade or anything like that. Uh, next on this list will be going to Recon, who I've switched switched around a couple times but i decided he deserves the top five spot i think we're in top five something like that uh with his vision pulse i think that's what it's called in this game his alt is not only for you but your entire team can see enemies through walls it gives you like three different pulses i think it lasts for like probably 10 seconds uh, where you can see all the different enemies and can come very very clutch uh in certain situations next on the best to worst list is going to go to Profit in his specialist weapon, the Tempest. This thing kind of acts like a sniper rifle, can be used at all different ranges, but when you hit someone with it, it doesn't instantly kill them, but it will stun them and knock them to the ground, and then you can easily go up with a follow-up shot, which is pretty useful, especially for objective modes or tight corridors, because the lightning from the Tempest will chain onto other enemies and then down them as well, so then you can even sh you can shoot another shot and kill a bunch more people. It's kind of similar to Outrider's Bow, where Outrider's Bow is a lot quicker to use, and it has more ammo, I believe, and is an insta-kill, whereas Profit it isn't an insta kill you gotta follow up on it so depending on certain situations you know it's super useful i do like them though at number i don't even know what number it has but next on the best to worst list fire break with his flamethrower i hated this in black ops 3 but it's much better in black ops 4 you touch people with it and they pretty much insta kill 
it's pretty good and there's not much that can counter so uh yeah that's that's fire break at number eight best will go to a new specialist the specter which is kind of disappointing because this guy was on my immediately the best of my best list in black ops 3 specter in this game i have to use him some more this might have to get revisited in the future but as of right now i'm putting him based on his weapon kind of mid-tier because it is i don't know what the heck it's called but you get a sword and when you get in a certain range it will lock on to people and then pretty much be an insta kill you can also throw it at people uh, but then you lose the rest of your uh, specialist weapon ability so you have to be careful with that but on its own it's nowhere near what it, the ripper was like in black ops 3 the ripper had much more like lock on range and insta kill inspector is very hard to rank just on his weapon alone but he's also like super squishy in this game so you know I'm not I'm not super fond of it right now so i'll have to kind of revisit this in the future and see if that changes see if Trek buffs him at all at number nine we're going to put ruin with his grav slam now with the special equipment ruin would be ranking much higher but without it and we're just ranking it based on the special weapon the grav slam it's nothing too special it's super lethal and very quick hard to get away from you can clear objectives with it easily win a one-on-one -on -one easily with it but compared to like, we'll say batteries, freaking frag launcher, that thing has much more range on it. You can even use it in close quarter situations. Uh, just like a better version of Ruin's Grav Slam. Now when you combo the Grav Slam with like the grappling gun and everything else, it gets much, much better. But on its own, Ruin's Grav Slam isn't too special. And it does beat the next best uh, on this list. I think we're at 10, which is Crash and his Tac 5. You activate this thing and it gives all your team, including you, a bonus 50 health. It completely regenerates all your health and overloads your health to 200 rather than 150. It's useful. It depends on situations. You know, everyone can use more health. Sometimes you can save teammates mid gunfight and completely change around the fight but i just don't find it as uh useful or as good as some of these other specialist abilities uh in this game at 11th best we're having torque and his barricade now the barricade is great for locking down places place it down it blocks gunfire and it will microwave and suppress people who run in front of it great for objectives great for shutting down certain corridors i think what makes this thing rank lowly on this list is it's not as mobile or versatile as some of these other specialist weapons and other specialist weapons easily counter again a grab slam can take the thing out you can shoot it with profits tempest i believe even outrider batteries thing will absolutely obliterate it so it's not as good as some of these other things at 12 on this list we're giving it to seraph who i hated in black ops 3 and i still hate in black ops 4 although i think her weapon the annihilator is much better in black ops 4 than it was in black ops 3 but um i don't know man it's like a pocket sniper rifle i don't know why you really want to waste a specialist weapon or specialist billy on a pocket sniper rifle when you can use a real sniper rifle and get one shot with that whenever you want to or you have explosive tips like outrider's bow you know it's just better things than it. i i don't know i never really found the point in the annihilator in any of the black ops games and then last but not least at worst we have zero and her i don't even know what the heck her thing was when she released people were kind of upset about it because she thinks she's op and hack and stuff but no one really uses her anymore her kit is just like you have the emp nay which is useful again it's equipment but her freaking little hackity doodah little pad the ice pick it's just like it's a cheap thing you hack other people's score streaks and disrupt their systems which is useful for a little bit i mean i guess it depends on your play style for my play style i think this is the worst specials i don't like using it maybe if you're not as good as the game you like stealing other people's score streaks that you may rank this a little bit higher or just with the tactical advantage of disrupting people you may rank this higher but i personally don't man if you hack someone's score streak someone hacks my score streak someone's gonna take out a rocket launcher and take him out you're not gonna have time to use them so it's just it's too counter it's a counter but it's very counterable and i don't like it so that's at worst uh, i almost forgot we didn't go over the best we're saving this for last so that brings us to the best specialist weapon the one i haven't mentioned it is ajax in his ballistic shield this is a super mobile uh specialist weapon and is very lethal you have a giant shield in front of you people have to try and get around a counter with it you can just lock the shield down and pick your gun out and fire at them and take him out easily the gun has some decent range to mow people down prevent people from charging at you you can even go all in and rush at people not even lock the shield down and just spray over the side of the shield and take him out very quickly and, and that firing mode i think has a little bit more close quarters accuracy it's just a super duper awesome specialist weapon i think the only thing that would really counter it would be battery specialist weapon but going beyond counters i mean this has the protective shield within you can charge in and completely take 
take out uh, groups and objectives with it. So that's why I think it's that the best specialist weapon. So that's my best to worst, or I should say second best to worst with the worst at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I should title it that. It's an amazing title uh, for the specialist weapons in Black Ops 4. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below in the comments. Feel free to criticize. Leave your own specialist or leave your own best to worst. Let's do whatever you want to do down below in the comments. Go wild. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you hit it, hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe hit the bell notification so you get notified. Maybe when my videos go live, you never know with YouTube nowadays. Links down below in the description with 10% off control freak as well as end the game apparel code. You can also find my Amazon associates link down there if you want to shop through that and help support the channel that way. But again, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Cinder Skater. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.